హలో ఎవ్రీవాన్ వెల్కమ్ టు వివిత్ కెమీ యూట్యూబ్ ఛానల్ దిస్ ఈజ్ విద్యాశ్రీ ఇన్ దిస్ వీడియో ఐ విల్ బీ డిస్కసింగ్ అబౌట్ జియోమెట్రిక్ ప్రోగ్రెషన్ ఐ హోప్ యూ నో అబౌట్ అరిథ్మెటిక్ ప్రోగ్రెషన్ ఇన్ విచ్ ద డిఫరెన్స్ బిట్వీన్ అ టర్మ్ అండ్ ఇట్స్ ప్రీవియస్ టర్మ్ ఈస్ అ కాన్స్టెంట్ ఇఫ్ యూ డోంట్ నో వాట్ ఈస్ అరిథ్మెటిక్ ప్రోగ్రెషన్ యూ క్యాన్ లర్న్ ఇట్ బై వాచింగ్ ది వీడియోస్ అపియరింగ్ ఆన్ ది ఐ బటన్ నో లెట్ ఇస్ స్టడీ about the geometric progression consider a sequence with the terms 2 4 8 16 and so on also you consider another sequence in which the terms are 12 6 3 3 by 2 and so on so if you take the ratio say for example if you calculate the ratio of second term to the first term and the ratio of third term to the second term ratio of fourth term to the third term and so on you see that these ratios are equal t2 by t1 is equal to t3 by t2 which is equal to t4 by t3 and this continues so you see that the ratio here is a constant and this type of sequences in which the ratio of a term to its preceding term is a constant is known as geometric progression the definition of geometric progression is that it's a sequence in which ratio of a term and its preceding term is a constant and this constant is known as common ratio and it is denoted by the letter r now let us see what is the general representation of a geometric progression a geometric progression is generally represented as a comma ar comma ar square comma ar cube and so on a r to the power n minus 1 so here a is the first term of the gp and r is the common ratio so the first term is a r is the common ratio in order to get the second term you have to multiply the first term with the common ratio and the nth term of the gp is a r to the power n minus 1 so therefore for a gp we can write its nth term as tn which is equal to a r power n minus 1 so using this formula we can find out the nth term of the geometric progression in order to obtain the succeeding term that means to find the next term so this i can tell as the nth term of gp or general term of gp so to find the succeeding term i have to multiply the tn term with the common ratio so this gives us the succeeding term and in order to find the preceding term means tn minus 1 i have to divide the general term by the common ratio so this is how we can find the succeeding as well as preceding number of any term of the given geometric progression now let us see how we can find the gp when its first term as well as common ratio is given here is the question find the gp with the first term and common ratio as 3 and 4 respectively so the first term and common ratio is given it's 3 and 4 so first term it's represented as a which is 3 and common ratio represented as r which is equal to 4 now we need to find gp i'll write the general representation we have a r a comma a r a r square a r cube and so on so the first term is a itself so a is equal to 3 
and we have a into r which is 3 into 4 is equal to 12 is the second term so I write t1 t2 is second term so t3 is a into r cube sorry r square which is 3 into 4 square 3 into 16 which is equal to 48 fourth term is a into r cube which is 3 into 4 cube is equal to 3 into 64 which comes out to be 192 so now we can write the gp so it is 3 comma 12 comma 48 comma 192 and so on so this is the gp with common ratio 3, 4 and first term as 3 another question what is the seventh term of the geometric progression 1 comma 3 comma 9 comma 27 so on so we need to find the seventh term means tn is equal to t7 we'll consider we'll write the formula tn is equal to a r rise to n minus 1 is the formula to find nth term or the general term so t7 is equal to a so in the given geometric progression first term is 1 and to find common ratio, we will divide second term by the first term, which is 3 by 1 is equal to 3. So, we have A as 1 into common ratio is 3. So, here N is equal to 7 now, 7 minus 1. So, T7 is equal to 1 into 3 to the power 7 minus 1 is 6. So, T7 is nothing but 3 to the power 6. 3 to the power 6 is nothing but it is 729 and therefore the right answer for this question is option A 729. So in the similar way you can solve any other question related to finding out of the terms of a given geometric progression. Now we shall see the formulas related to the sum of the terms of a geometric progression. We have three formulas related to the sum of the terms of a geometric progression and the first formula is Sn is equal to A into 1 minus R to the power N divided by 1 minus R. So this formula is used when the common ratio of the GP is lesser than 1. We have another formula when the common ratio is greater than 1 for a GP and that formula is Sn is equal to A into Rn to the power minus 1 divided by R minus 1. We can find the sum of infinite terms of a GP and that is represented as S infinity which is equal to A divided by 1 minus R. So in all this formula where A is the first term, first term of GP and R is the common ratio. Here is a question. The number of terms in the series 1 plus 4 plus 16 plus so on if the sum of the series is 341. So we have the series whose sum is given. So I will write Sn is equal to 341 and we will check whether the series is GP. So we have first term A is equal to 1. We will check with the common ratio so it is 4 by 1 which is equal to 4 by uh, means 4 also we'll check for the other terms so 16 by 4 so common ratio is 4 therefore the given series is in geometric progression it's a geometric series so we have common ratio r which is greater than 1 so we can use the formula sn is equal to a into r to the power n minus 1 divided by r minus 1. So this is the formula that we should be using because the common ratio is greater than 1. We need to find is the value of n. So Sn is given it is 341. 341 is equal to a means the first term which is equal to 1 r to the power n so 4 to the power n minus 1 divided by r minus 1 which is equal to 4 minus 1. Simplifying this 341 is equal to 4 to the power n minus 1 divided by 3 
so just simplification i can write 4 to the power n minus 1 is equal to 341 into 3 which is equal to 1023 now 4 n minus 1 is equal to 1023 so i can write 4 n is equal to 1023 plus 1 which is equal to 1024 so i'll just write the same here 4 to the power n is equal to 1024 so now i need to express this 1024 in the power of 4 so i'll divide this 1024 from 4 dividing 1024 from 4 So doing the division 4 6 star 24 1 in hand so 4 so this is 4 so this is nothing but 4 to the power 5 3 4 5 so 4 to the power n a thousand twenty four can be written as 4 to the power 5 when the base is same i can equate the power and therefore i can write n is Five. So the given series in the question has five terms in it. And for a geometric progression, if you take the ratio of S to N to S N, so this will become equal to R to the power N plus one. So this formula might help you in some of the cases. You can just try to remember this. I'll stop this video here. Thank you for watching. Like and share the video among your friends if the contents provided here are useful to you. Subscribe to my channel for more updates. Do not forget to enable the bell icon to get notified about the upcoming videos.